All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Nick, and this is a video to show you guys the updates that are coming to Skyrim in the 1.4 update. Uh, the update was actually announced a couple weeks ago, and today's episode, I'm kind of just going to go over some of the major things that are going to be changed, as well as give you guys a link for PC players to join uh, the beta early just in case if you're new to PC you don't know how to join betas but anyways like I said uh, 1.4 was announced so I'm just gonna go over some of the quick things that 1.4 will do hopefully it'll make uh, Skyrim more playable on the PlayStation 3 I know as per usual with Bethesda games on the PlayStation 3 uh, there are a lot of bugs with it so uh, these are overall first off there are generalized optimizations to memory and performance and this is coming straight from Bethesda's blog. Uh, I kind of printed it out. If you want the full list of what's changing, I'll leave the link in the description. So gener generalized optimizations for memory and performance. Um, for the PS3, fix the occasional issues with armor and clothing not being displayed properly when placed on the mannequin inside the house. On PC, improve compiler optimizations. Um, for the PC, uh, sorry, for the PS3, long-term play optimization to, for memory and performance. So I think that's the really, really big one that's going to improve uh, the game for PlayStation 3 players. And more memory optimizations relating to scripting, um, crashes relate, fixing crashing related to AI, uh, fix issues with accented characters not displaying properly at the end of a line, uh, fix issues with Dragon Priest mask not rendering properly, and a bunch of other stuff. Fix memory crash with container menu. Uh, fix infinite loop with bookshelves. Fix issues with traps in Shalador's maze not working properly in French, English, French, German, Spanish, and Italian versions. Uh, fix issue where transforming back into a werewolf back to a human from a werewolf would not would occasionally fail. I've actually had that happen to me. Uh, transforming back into a human did not work. Uh, so yeah. And bows and daggers not uh, displaying properly when placed on weapon racks. Uh, I didn't go through every single one of them because it's a gigantic list right here. And this is just basically um, fixes to the overall game mechanics. Uh, there's an entire list at the very bottom of the blog where it lists uh, fixes to occasional qu to specific quests uh, that are going on right now. So yeah, that is the update to 1.4 for Skyrim. Uh, like I said, if you want the full list, I'll leave it in the description for you guys. And as well, if you are on PC and Steam, um, the beauty of PC is that you always get updates faster because you don't have to go through the bureaucratic red tape of Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. So if you want to sign up for the beta for 1.4, I'll leave you a link in the description for um, for you guys to check it out. I haven't personally checked it out yet myself because I've just been playing a tons of Mass Effect, but later tonight when I get back from night class, I'll probably give it a whirl and test it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, uh, 1.4 is coming out very, very soon, still in the testing phases, at least on a PC. I'm mainly doing this for the PlayStation th uh, 3 players who may not be, are basically having an unplayable game at this point. So that's good news for you guys. The closer it gets to getting fully released, then the faster you guys can start playing Skyrim again. But anyways, uh, like I said, that's my update. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's another update that's major, I'll let you guys know. Anyways, uh, have a fantastic day.